hi friend how are you today my discussing topic is on the topic very very important topic that is transformer trouble circuit because uh, in each and every substations and also the power plant all the places the transformers are the common apparatus and very costly and important apparatus without which the power cannot be transferred step up or step down so inside the power plant there has an transformers of is called the gt generator transformers it is the step up transformers if the generation is an 11 kb so it transferring from 11 kb to 400 kb 11 kb to 220 kb 11 kb to 132 kb as per the requirement and the transmission's line distance is concerned and in the substations or transmission or grid substations the different power transformers different um, ict different types of uh, auto transformers are being installed as per the connected load and requirement purpose generally we are using 31.5 ampere transformer 50 ampere transformers nowadays 80 ampere transformers also 160 ampere transformers nowadays 200 ampere transformers uh, we are using the uh, 315 ampere transformers different uh, 500 ampere ict different different transformers we are using so um, inside the transformers a protection circuit should be there because if anything inside will be happened anything wrong things will be happened that means that should be out and the transformers automatically switched off without any fire hazards without any internal damage because the transformers is in costly equipments and inside all the parts are very costly so if the transformers will be affected then the cost for the repairing and also uh, interruptions time will be increased so depend on these or considering this importance we are always using different types of protection circuit so let's uh, discuss about today discussions um, is the term power transformer stable circuit we all know uh, in the control room different types of relay are there for the protection purpose here you can see that the 30a 30b 30c all are the flag relay also 30d 30e 30f and also 30g 30h 30j this all relay you can see in the control and relay panel of the transformers particular transformers if you watch inside or if you go inside the control room of a power plant or you are going to the control room of a grid substations you can see it in the control and relay panel in front panel or the back panel whatever it will be present there so what is 30a 30a is the buckle strip buckle strip relay or flag here the wind uh, winding temperature trip relay while temperature trip relay 30d is the buckles alarm 30e is the winding temperature alarm and 30f is the oil temperature alarm here the 30g relay is the mog trip relay Uh, 30h is uh, concerned with or connected for the prd trip and 30j is for the mog alarm so let's start about what is happening inside the transformers we are considering uh, if you uh, want to know in details you can see my buckles relay or in different video on the transformers topic to Uh, know the details about 
what is uh, the constructions of the Buchholz relay what uh, what is inside the winding temperatures how the winding temperature is looks like how the oil temperature indicator is looks like uh, you can see my uh, video also we have already been uh, provided that video for the details or pictorial representations or for better understanding so what is happening inside it uh, suppose uh, one of my subscribers are just facing different types of problems and uh, giving me lots of comments regarding this so we are uh, doing this video for my subscribers and also for the other subscribers also so the Buchholz relay what is happening inside the Buchholz relay if any gas will be generated first the Buchholz alarm will be active what will be the activations this is the switch this all are the switch what is the function of this switch the function of the switch is NONC contact so all are the NO contact NO contact means normally open contact so what happened inside it when some internal gas or some internal fault will be there some gas will be generated and that gas will just stored in the Buchholz relay chamber when uh, the gas will be stored at the Buchholz relay or accumulated at the Buchholz relay chamber so one inside a uh, connections are there you can see uh, or you know in details if you see my Buchholz relay constructions and its internal operation circuit so what is happening here this Buchholz alarm circuit will be active because it will be NO to NC so this contact will NO to NC and you are seeing that here we are providing the 220 volt DC here from here is a positive terminal and here the negative terminal so if this flag will be converted from NO to NC so this positive voltage will flow from this circuit and if this positive flow from this circuit this relay will be operated if the re relay will be operated that means the flag relay the flag will be um, down flag cannot be resetted uh, flat cannot be resetted flat will be down so the Buchholz alarm will be there so you have to go to the transformer side and just supervise the transformers if required switch off the transformers isolate the both the circuit and by help of the discharge rod discharging the transformers both side then you can uh, climb on the transformer stuff and just release the Buchholz um, uh, valve and the gas will be out from there if the gas will be out from there the Buchholz uh, this relay will be resetted because this a NC contact will again be NO contact so this will be the NO contact so the transformers is uh, in the out of danger so this uh, relay will be resetted so this is the main functions of the positive negative voltage we are providing the positive negative voltage and resetting the transformers accordingly by help of the formation of the gas so it is called the gas actuated relay so Buchholz relay is the gas actuated relay if um, first uh, Buchholz alarm are there you are not supervised uh, thoroughly or properly then the gas will be again generated and also the buccal strip will be there if the buccal strip will be there that means that will provided the 30a flag will be down and the breaker uh, trip coil will be activated breaker trip coil will be activated that means the breaker will isolated the uh, transformers power if the 132 kb side 132 kb side uh, circuit breaker will be out by help of the 86 relay 33 kb side will be also out and in case of the 50 mb transformers 132 by 33 kb and in case of the uh, 160 mb transformer 220 by 132 kb side the formula and the mechanisms all the protections are same for all the voltage level and all different types of transformers here also the winding temperature tree here the winding temperatures alarm uh, it is in a gas actuated relay it is on the temperature uh, difference if the winding temperature will be high it has an parameters if it is reached to the 75 
the alarm will be calm if it will reach to the 85 the trip will be calm so something are inside the transformers are wrong that's why the trippings are just provided in case of the oil temperature trip and a oil temperature alarm first the oil temperature alarm will come then the oil trip will be calm it depends on also the temperature setting it is a predefined value so oil temperature suppose we are providing the oil temperature 85 or 95 85 for the alarm and the 95 for the trip it's vary from the manufacturer to manufacturers okay and the MOG trip here the emoji emoji magnetic oil gauge magnetic oil gauge are using in the conservators uh, conservators for uh, providing uh, the OLTC for OLTC oil indication if the OLTC what is the OLTC OLTC is on load tap changers if the on load tap changer inside oil will be reduced and this emoji will uh, be go down if the emoji will be go down and down you are just not observing that so the emoji trip will be there first the emoji alarm will be there then the emoji trip will be there it, it depends on the uh, volume of the oil so something like that uh, here uh, suppose the half oil is present 30 degrees C oil is present is down 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 is zero then um, the emoji trip may be there because if inside the well to see no oil will be there you cannot change the tap so waser will be operated waser is the oil surge relay it's connected between the well to see and the main tank bugor's relay is being used in uh, in between the conservators conservators and uh, main tank and it is connected between the diverters and the uh, conservator tank so uh, and also the PR uh, PRD trip. What is the PRD trip? Pressure pressure trip. If inside the transformers a huge amount of fault are there, a huge amount of winding are just burned burned out, and the three phase faults are inside the transformer. So the PRD will be operated. Why the PRD will be huge amount of gas will be generated. If the huge amount of gas will be generated, the gas has in pressure. It it can pressurize the pavement papers and also just out from the PRV valve prv valve as like as this um, as like as in valve um, top of the transformers you can see the prd um, valve so the 38 will be operated if the 38 will be operated you have to concerned with the testing and if the testing uh, discuss about and oil testing uh, after the oil testings and also the testing recommendations you can switch on the transformers again so it is very very important if the prd is operated uh, the transformers are being damaged so it's considering on the different parameters so you have to follow the different parameters for identifying what are just inside the transformers so um, uh, different different types of logics are there so this is the main logics so how uh, if suppose uh, all the things is right and the flag is not reset it that means the relay may be in malfunctioning so relay engineers should be called for checking the relay is the relay is in good conditions or in bad conditions if uh, the inside any circuit any fault are there the, it may be the positive earth fault it may be the negative earth fault so in case of the positive or negative earth fault, uh, the different uh, types of uh, happenings may be there. So it is the clear circuits and by help of this clear circuits, you can clearly understand if anything difference are there is not resetting. So consult with the testings, uh, replacing the relay also and check the circuit by help of switching of the transformers and also uh, just NONC contact this is just properly flag out and flag in up and down it is just um, operating or not please check it so uh, friend today's our discussing topic is very important I uh, as far as my information as per my knowledge is concerned I am just providing the knowledge for your understandings and it will be benefited for in case of the testing purpose and also for some basic idea about what is happening here this is the common circuits by help of this circuit and this uh, connections all types of transformers protections are being operated so friend let's uh, enjoy this video and obviously share this video with your friends and colleagues 
this is the basic information you can share obviously and don't forget uh, to subscribe my channel subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for next video okay thank you